Okay, I'm going to do a short video here to show how to manage certain aspects of tables in particular. Uh, if you've uh, highlighted a row or you want to highlight a row, turn it on, turn it off, you want to outline the uh, cells of the box, how do you go about doing that? Well, the women have their monthly tournament pages and in there they're using a table to keep track of the information so I'm going into the May tournament page. Um, we can see here that we have the tables and the various tournaments and currently we have these with a highlighting on the cells giving it a background color of yellow. Um, I'm going to stretch out our box here. This is a, an option I enabled here just in the last day so that we can resize the box when we're doing editing to make things a little bit easier. Now to change this group of cells, this row across here, and put it back to just a white background, I'm going to click and hold the mouse over here and then I'm going to drag across so that I'm selecting in these cells. And of course you'll see them highlight and change color as it goes and selects them. Then in any one of the cells, I like to use one of the bigger ones, I just put the mouse somewhere in there and you're going to right mouse click which will bring up the table options uh, menu and if we go down to the cell table I found out that we can do it through the cell uh, options we go to table cell options first time I had shown in quickly how to do it we use the row options but it does work with the cell options if you follow this once I've got this screen up, I want to go to the advanced and I'm changing the cell properties for all the selected cells. Down here in the background color, we can do it one of two ways. We can click in this box over here and I like to use the named colors, so I'll choose that tab. And you'll see that the names show up as I hover over each of these little color boxes and the white one is right down here in the bottom row. I can click on that. You could also just type in this pound symbol and six F's and do the same thing. Now I, in trying this, getting ready for this video, I found out that when I applied this I was also losing the border that we have around these. So I found at the same time I want to go back in and redefine the color for the border. It happens to be black it's up at the top row here. So now I've got these two items defined in here. I can update this group of uh, cells across this row now and we can now see that we've got white all the way across but I maintained the black border around each cell. If I didn't do that, say I went in here and I went to our cell table cell properties and advanced and I only changed the background one or I thought I was only changing the background one I left this one blank we will lose our border and you can see the effect here now is that I don't have the border around each of these cells but that can be quickly corrected by again dragging the mouse across the cells that we want to change then right mouse go down to cell table cell properties and this time we can go in and say we want the border, choose a named border of black. Um, it's going to be white anyway. We could, of course, put in here our pound FFFFFF if we want to just make sure it's the way we are looking for it. And now we can see that we have our black border around each of the cells again. I'll do that two more times to clean up this particular page. So I've drag the mouse across, watch it highlight the cells, come back into a bigger cell, just a little easier, right mouse click, down to cell, table cell properties, advanced tab, select my named color for the border, select my named color for the background of the cells, and update finish off our little table here this way. Again, 
take my named color for black for the border, take my named color for white, go ahead and update it, and that now removes the highlighting. Now, of course, you want to put highlighting in, you just do the same thing. You go ahead and select the cells that you want highlighted. You're going to right mouse click. You're going to go down to cell, table cell properties. You're going to go to advanced. You're going to say I want to keep my black border. So I'm going to select that for the border color. And I want to highlight my cells. And just to make it a little different, I'm going to do it with that green that we had here. Let's see, what do they call that green? That is a, a green yellow. Okay. Now we've got those set. Do an update. Wow, it's a lot darker than I thought it was going to be. Well, we better take that back out. Oops. Keep my black for my border. Go ahead and go back to white for the, or go to yellow if we want to highlight it. And now we have our yellow. And once you've got those all done, of course, you either apply or submit. I'm going to go ahead and cancel because I know Anne wants to do this herself. So that's a little trick on how we can create the, the borders around cells and create the uh, highlighting with color or removing the highlighting of color in the tables that we create within the page content.